Are you trying to tell me that a $120 MP3 player is on the Amazon best-selling electronics list? I have purchased a large number of the best-selling Amazon electronics to determine, are they a scam? Are people absolutely losing their minds? Or is some of this stuff actually good? So we're gonna start out with the Mighty Vibe, a $120 MP3 player. All right, let's see what we got. So, oh my God. Wait, 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 is this? Oh, it's way smaller than I thought. So it's, oh, okay, this makes a little bit more sense. So it's more like an iPod shuffle. So it has the little clip on it, so you can like, I don't know, clip it to your arm and go work out or something. Oh my God, it really is like an iPod shuffle. It charges via the aux. Okay, I think I get it. I, I, I think I understand this product now. Can I just go back to the idea that this is $120? I think the iPod shuffle used to be what? 60 bucks? Download the Mighty Audio app, follow the setup guide, and then leave your phone and the distractions behind. I don't know if I like this. This does kind of feel like a problem in search of a solution. Wait, no. A solution in search of a problem. So I'm gonna guess that what happens here is now that I've synced my Mighty account and my Spotify account, inside the Mighty app, I can find Spotify music and sync it to the Mighty? This is a lot of work for not having to use your phone. And a lot of steps you need your phone for to not use your phone. It's trying to sync, but it is, is just, it's just pinwheeling. So maybe it's just gotta do its initial setup. Here, I'm gonna plug and unplug it and see if that works. This is a very bad setup experience right now. Press it. Okay, it, press the button. Oh, oh my God, it finally worked. Okay, whatever. 10 minutes later, we've got it up and running. Okay, so I'm now syncing 15 songs on a soundtrack. Okay, so we're just gonna give it a second. Okay, we're still 0%. Mind you, I'm only copying 15 songs right now. This is like comically bad. We're gonna listen to three songs because I'm tired of waiting. Okay, it's time my friends. Phone, who needs a phone? I got my Mighty. I plug my headphones in and guess what it gives me now? Spotify login failed. Connect your Mighty to app and Wi-Fi. Oh, it works now. It just told me it needs to... Whoa. Who needs a phone? Not me. I got my music on the go. Like it's 2005 again. Huge shout out to Anchor for sponsoring this video. I've been a big fan of their GAN Prime chargers for a while, so when they announced the next gen Anchor Prime, I was all about it. From phones, tablets, and laptops, you can rely on Anchor's universal compatibility to charge just about anything. With the Anchor Prime 240 watt GAN desktop charger, you can charge a MacBook Pro from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. But what makes the desktop charger special is that you can simultaneously charge two MacBook Pros at almost full throttle. Basically, this thing is a beast. But what if you don't want to be tethered to a wall socket? Anchor has you covered with the Anchor Prime power banks ranging all the way up to 27,650 milliamp hours, which can output 250 watts. That's right. 250 watts. You can fast charge multiple laptops when you're on the go. I personally love it when I'm out and about with the family and need to charge everyone's stuff. People tend to get a little grumpy when they got some dead batteries. Not with this guy. Anchor doesn't stop there though. The Anchor Prime power bank also has a charging base for quick and wireless charging. And there's also an app that can help you locate the power banks and check power levels. Definitely be sure to go check out the Anchor Prime lineup at the link in the description. Next up we have the Filva portable monitor. So this is a Amazon's choice and best selling for a laptop monitor. This only cost us $68. Now it's a little bit more expensive today. I looked at it, it's 80 bucks, but still very reasonably priced for an external display that you can connect to your MacBook, your laptop, or whatever the case is. So it does give us a fairly extensive what's in the box list, including a smart cover, USB-C, mini display, mini HDMI, power adapter. Inside we've got, a portable monitor. Well, it's, I'll say this nicely packed. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Full function type C for power, video audio, and touch signal. That's a legit feature. Why would you not like advertise that? I had no idea. Oh, dude, this is actually. Okay, so it comes in this nice little carrying case, which also I assume folds down. Yeah, so you can actually turn it into like the, um, the stand. Oh, oh, look at this. They'll give you one accessory for free if you contact them. And I assume you also give them a very positive Amazon review. Come on to you guys. So we've got a mini HDMI, which is annoying but fair. We've got two USB type C's. And on this side, we have the other USB C, which is for input. So we could connect a mouse or keyboard there. You've also got a headphone jack. Like this is, 
this is actually really good. While I'm impressed with this product and it seems nice, I do detect some shenanigans. There's a lot of very, very positive reviews, like almost exclusively very positive reviews. But take it with a grain of salt. We're not out here making fun of Amazon reviews. We're out here to actually see if this thing works. Oh my God, it literally, just, I mean, I don't know why I'm so surprised. It literally just works. So it is taking power from the MacBook. So the MacBook over the single USB-C is powering it as well as getting the uh, the video signal. At full brightness, I'd say that's actually not bad. So it's actually a little too bright probably for cameras. So I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. So it does give me the option to turn on HDR for the second display, which I, mean, I turned it on. That is not, technically yes, that is HDR, but it just killed the brightness. I'm not, okay. so. Yes, it supports an HDR signal, you should not use that, but that's totally fine. Again, we're talking about a super cheap monitor here. The, oh, you know what I should do? Let me try plugging in the monitor and see if the MacBook will go from charging this display, or not charging, but powering the display, to instead charging my MacBook. Because theoretically, that will work. So it is taking 40, so it's passing 45 watts through. Now mind you, I'm connected to a 65 watt adapter. Dude, this thing is legit. Okay, so we're 50-50 so far, okay? Let's, uh, let's see what else Amazon's got for us. This next one is a strange one. So under bestsellers for Indiegogo, this is a mug with a hoop. I don't know what we have purchased. Hi, my name is Max and I created my first mug, the mug with a hoop in art class when I was eight years old. Oh, that's adorable. Boy, we're just going on a journey today, aren't we? Going from terrible stuff to awesome stuff to not tech at all. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Look at the size, this is not a mug, this is a bowl, man. Oh, this is actually really cute though. So, we were gonna throw marshmallows in here because we thought it was funny. And then we realized that the only marshmallows we have are the tiny marshmallows and hot cocoa mix. So, uh, I'm about to make a mess. Yeah, it's zero for one. Zero for two. Okay, one for three. 250. Kobe. Well, and this is cute. Is it worth 30 bucks, man? If you want to go play with your food, it's actually nicely made. How this is a bestseller for Indiegogo, I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? Next up, we have the best-selling game console on Amazon. Now, when I say that, what do you think the best-selling game console is? Well, if you said the Nintendo Switch, you would be right. And no, not the Switch OLED or the Switch Lite. No, this is the original Nintendo Switch. Technically, it's the Redbox model. But the fact that this is still the best-selling console six years later is strange to me, especially because this is only like 10 bucks cheaper than it was when it was new. It's like 288 bucks or something right now. If you want to know my thoughts on the Switch, I've done about 100 videos on it. But the Switch is an excellent console to pair with the best-selling headset. So this is a $22 headset with, and I can't believe that they are this brazen, over 100,000 reviews on this. Dude, my expectations are so low. I've tried so many headsets and they all don't sound good and they feel so cheap. Wait a minute, okay, well, hold on. That, yeah, it's very bendy, but the flexibleness actually doesn't feel like it's gonna immediately break. New flexibility. The flexibility to the flum, flumux, uh, the, the flexible. Let's actually put it on and see. Feels like it needs like a little bit more pressure in. Like it feels like it's like loose, like on the bottom of my ears. The big problem here though, is you need to plug it in via USB to actually get the lights to turn on. And if I'm using something like the Switch, I'm not doing that. Or if you're plugging into a PS4 or almost any device that's not basically your PC. So I think if I just plug this into power, it should light up. Do I look like a gamer now? Yeah. You look like you should be chugging Red Bulls and streaming. All right, to properly judge this, let me actually try to play a game and see how it sounds like. So Strange is, uh, mind, mind you, I'm plugged into the Switch right now. It's very quiet, like much, much quieter than I would prefer, um, but it's not bad. It seems a little too convenient for a random $20 headset on Amazon to have that many reviews. I still call some shenanigans, but you could do worse. For 22 bucks. Like, uh, this is totally fine. Next up, we have number one in Amazon Renewed, which is strangely an iPhone 11. Not only is this the number one best selling Amazon Renewed, it's also one of the best selling smartphones on Amazon, period. And we consider that this iPhone 11 cost us $300. If it's in okay shape, it's 
not bad. iPhone 11, it's a little on the older side, but it's still totally supported by iOS. You'll still probably get a couple years of updates. Apple iPhone 11, so 64 gigabytes fully unlocked black. It says 96%, which I'm gonna assume is the battery capacity. Oh no. Sounds like Amazon renewed to me. All right, all right. So this is also advertised as excellent condition, AKA the absolute highest, which we'll see. What we found in the past buying Amazon renewed, it is either you get something great or it is massively scuffed. Thank you for shopping with us. Do you have a great experience? Give us a five-star review. Did you not have a fun time? Call us immediately. <laughs> Um, let's take off the screen protector and see. Okay, that's significantly way worse. Oh my God. They are absolutely out of their damn minds if they think this is excellent. A little bit of this is coming off, but there are scratches all over this. And if you look closely, there are hairline scratches absolutely everywhere. The frame is fine. Everything else seems like it's in good shape. It is just the screen, which is obviously the most important part. Oof, okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that over for a second. Oh, okay, 97. Okay, so you know what? The battery actually is pretty decent. One of my number one concerns with buying a used phone is the battery. And honestly, for a device that's what, three years old at this point? 97% is actually pretty good. The cameras on the iPhone 11 do hold up fairly well today. Again, 300 bucks is not a lot of money for a device like this. If this was sold as like acceptable condition and was like 50 bucks cheaper, that screen is fine. But you cannot tell me that this is an excellent quality device when you have scratches on the screen that are that deep. When I see a product with over 250,000 reviews, my expectations are quite high. And that, my friends, is what you get with this. These are the Tozo T6s for $21. These are fully wireless earbuds that are, well, apparently upgraded for 2023, but also massively, massively popular on Amazon. So the fact that this is either a 2022 or 2023 upgrade could mean that people reviewed a much older version of this or a completely different version of the headphones, which is one of the things that I wish Amazon would crack down a little bit because there's so many sellers who will say like, oh, they have one popular item and they'll have like variants. And the variants will be like a completely different thing that they put there just to get in front of you and to keep those sweet reviews. But. 251,000 people couldn't be wrong, right? The people have never made a bad decision. <laughs> I don't trust any of you. Emotional, damn it. High stereo sound quality, IPX8 waterproof, faster wireless charging, and smart touch control. So a little bit of a chunky case. It does have a little LED indicator up here. And they also have, I guess, speaking to their waterproof nature, a little cover over the USB. Oh my God, it's micro USB. Oh, good Lord. How is it the 2022 or 2023 model if they're giving you micro USB? They are very glossy, um, but and they have like a decent weight to them. They're a little bit of an interesting design. So they're kind of like long. So you see like the sort of the core. I wonder how they're actually gonna fit. Cause that's like a very extended little stem. Yeah, so it, the whole thing fires up and they're in pairing mode. Okay, so that is a plus. That's pretty easy. Let's pair it with our new iPhone 11. I'll say, I wanna to listen to this and be done with these quickly cause they are really not comfortable in my ears. Like, I don't know what 250,000 people are uh, raving about unless they've got some big ass ears. Which if you do, no offense, but I don't usually have this problem. So this is a demo of what the microphone on the Tozo T6s sound like. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I mean, 20 bucks you can't complain, but that's definitely not good. Um, let's listen to some music. I don't get it, man. This is, this is not, Tozo is not it. 250,000 people are in fact wrong. This is the Logitech F310. And if it looks a little old, that's because this first came out in 2010. And yet when you go on Amazon and you want a controller, well, technically the top listing is the Amazon Luna controller, but I think they're lying. So the actual real controller is this F310. And it only costs 50 $15. What you'll need, uh, Windows 8, 7, or Windows Vista. As we all know, I only buy game controllers that are compatible with Windows Vista. If it doesn't work with Vista, I politely decline. So this, my friends, is the F310. It's like such a tight grip. Like my hands are like, my fingers basically touch in the middle. It's also like, the plastic is not ultra cheap, but it's very like slippery. 
Like, I feel like I get a little, like, sweat going, and man, this, this is not gonna stick around. You got yourself a start, a stop, and a mode. And you can press the Logitech button, which I assume doubles as the Xbox button. All right, let's hop into a game of Forza Horizon 5 and see how this controller is. I'll actually say, I don't love the sticks as much as I thought I would. They're almost, like, too loose. Like, there's not a lot of resistance with the sticks. It's not bad. Like, I, you could probably get a worse controller for 15 bucks. Okay, well that doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. This is the best-selling gaming mouse on Amazon, the Logitech G502 Hero. This has got a lot of nice features for only 40, I think seven or $48 right now. Um, I will say though, I mean, I know it's just the plastic on the inside, but like, I, this is though, I know an incredibly popular mouse. It's something like almost 50,000 reviews on Amazon, which again, for like a regular non, fake reviewed product is a lot. But Logitech have also been selling the G502 for a little bit. This is certainly not a new product. All right, um, so we've got ourselves the mouse and the USB cable, which does look like it's hardwired. Don't love the fact that it's hardwired. It's acceptable, but it's fine. We do have a uh, quite aggressive amount of styling here. So we got like these little like triangles on the side. We have these little like slashes here. We have the G logo, which I believe does light up. We also have a little carrying pouch for our weights, which are each 3.6 grams. Let's try some weights. You gotta like build yourself a little like origami pattern here. So that's two. So each of those weights are like almost four grams. And that is, I mean, that's, it's got a little heft to it. Although before we try the G502, I would like to pair it with the best selling keyboard on Amazon. So specifically, if you want to get a best selling gaming keyboard, you get this, the NPET, I believe this is the K10 V3. So this is $22, but sad to report, it is a membrane keyboard. A lot of people have purchased this NPET. Uh, again, we're talking about tens of thousands of reviews and generally people are pretty positive about it. All right, okay, yep, that looks very similar to what I am used to. The font, and especially just like the way they cut it, it's just not clear. Like I definitely remember seeing this and, and looking at it in person, it's just super faint. Maybe it'll look a little bit better when we actually like plug it in. Not like bad, it's just not good. You know what? The only thing I'll say that's good about a membrane keyboard is that oftentimes the RGB looks better because the switches are super basic, so they can actually fill the whole thing up with LEDs. Again, I, I feel like I'm being a little snobby with this keyboard. So I will say that maybe take what I'm saying with a slight grain of salt, but the fact that it's just a membrane keyboard, which is the most popular gaming keyboard on Amazon, doesn't feel right to me. I would not buy the impact. I just, it's just, spend a slightly bigger amount of money and you can get a mechanical keyboard, which in my opinion is a big step up and feel. Now on the mouse side, I'm fully on board with this G502 Hero. Um, is a little heavy for my taste. Um, I would certainly not put the weights in, but you have the flexibility there. You got the extra buttons. It feels good ergonomically. Um, so there you have it. Is Amazon always right? Should you just blindly follow the herd and whatever best selling number one is, throw in your cart? Like half the time, I think. <laughs> half the items we've looked at were decent. And the other half, not so much.